all right you guys so thanks for tuning in to get your vibes with Rin. you already know it's your girl serenity tiara but you can call me Rin, and i am back to y'all with a new video <clears throat> so as you can tell by the title and by the setup this is a pick a pile reading um, this is my first pick a pal reading that I'm doing um, and filming. So, um, yeah, I just hope that everything goes good. <laughs> and make sure y'all that y'all are looking forward to um, more pick a pal readings because I'm going to start posting them more often. And instead of posting them on my Instagram, I'm going to strictly post my pick a pal readings on, he on here on YouTube. So, um, yeah, be looking forward to that. Um, so basically this reading is about finding your purpose. What is your purpose? What is your, um, purpose becoming, you know, because I feel like we all have purpose, obviously, but, um, as, as times are changing and as society changes as a whole and you know just the world in general i feel like there might be a newfound purpose um you might have thought your purpose was one thing but now it might be becoming something else so that's basically what this reading is going to be about um the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to use i know y'all are like uno cards what the heck <laughs> i'm going to use the uno cards as just like a like a mood um like a mood and energy like check-in type of thing basically i'm going to start out with the uno cards just to see what the energy is like so um when i pull the the uno cards if the energy doesn't seem like you or if it doesn't feel like you then you might want to choose another pile and if um if none of the piles resonate with you then this might just not be the reading for you at this time so yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and get started so if you guys will just go ahead and meditate on your piles also i just want to say quickly um i've been saying it in all my videos but just a reminder there they are doing construction on the house next to me so i'm sorry i cannot control that i wish i could um, but yeah, if you hear noise in the background, that is why. But yeah, so go ahead and meditate on you guys' piles. And, um, if you feel, hold on, okay. Meditate on you guys' piles and whichever pile you feel most called to, that is the pile for you. Um, so for group one, we have this selenite stick. For pile two, I forget what this stone is called, but it's basically just like a earth grounding, like a grounding stone for pile two. And for pile three, we have this um, polished amethyst. So take your time, no rush. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with my pal ones, okay? So pal one, <clears throat> this reading is for you and we are going to be finding your purpose today. So I'm gonna just go ahead and meditate on your energy um, real fast. <clears throat> you can meditate with me if you want. Um, at this time, your energy, even though you'll be watching this video at a different time than I, at a later time than I recorded this video, your inner, I will still be able to pick up on your energy. So if you want to go ahead and meditate um, as well, please do so because it will make the energy stronger for me. Spirit, universe, ancestors of the white light. I ask that you put me in the energy of Pal One at this time. What is the energy of Pal One at this time? What is the
is Pal Love's purpose? What have they been going through in the past, the present, and the future? What Pal One? What is the energies of Pal One at this time? I'm hearing the number three as well as the number six. That, is, that also shows progression going from three to six. Also, those numbers could be um, significant to you. So <clears throat> that's all I got for you guys, pal one. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get started. That's all I got for you guys, pal one, as far as with the meditation. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get started with with your opening energies, okay? So, pal one, I also got um, a calming energy from you all, um, as well as like second second guessing. I felt like I was second guessing myself a lot um, just you know a few minutes ago. Also, I feel like you guys like want things to be perfect, um, so you guys could be like uh, Virgo, Scorpio, um, or have those placements in your chart virgo scorpio what's another sign that like tends to want things to be perfect um capricorn virgo scorpio capricorn uh could be pisces could be um aries i just heard aries all right, well, that's all I got for the meditation for you guys, Pal One. So now we're going to get started with your opening energies. <clears throat> so, for your energy in the past, Pal One, I mean, not the past, the present, I'm so sorry. Your energy in the present at this time is... I'm going to do it like this. Sorry, guys. This is my first pick a card, so bear with me. <clears throat> so, pal one, if you have chose this pile, your energies and your mood in the present should look a little something like this here. You could be going through... Um, you could be surprised about a lot of things. I heard surprising yourself. You could be surprising yourself. Um, you could be learning things about yourself that you never knew about yourself. You could also be just learning new things. You see he's playing this banjo here. Um, also, we got the numbers 9 and 8. Um, so those numbers could be significant for you. Um, let's see. I feel like also two pal ones, I feel like y'all could be working so much that like y'all need like a break. <laughs> like 
Because, like, what I'm getting from this one here is that he's like, woof, like, I just did all that, you know what I'm saying? I just did all that, now I need to relax, you know, type of energy. Um, yeah. So those are your present energies, okay? In the past, we got this, um, this number five. And then we also have in the future, number four. So these are your past and your uh, future energies here. So again, with the numbers, we got eight and nine, and then we got four and five. Um, so you could be taking a step back from things or falling back from certain things because the numbers here are kind of de decreasing but i don't see that as being a bad thing um in the future here you could meet somebody or fall in love with somebody as well as maybe even falling in love with a new passion maybe a new passion that you've been trying out lately um but yeah in the past here i'm getting you could have been very timid um you could have been very shy i feel like here now in the present you're starting to express yourself more like i said i feel like you're starting to learn more about yourself here in the present whereas in the past i feel like you were afraid to do so or you were just more self-conscious here in the past I feel like with this being the number five for your past energy i feel like that's saying that that energy needed to be changed that energy it, it needed it needed some type of interruption all right we got number the number nine represents um time to wrap up a new journey wrap up loose ends let go of what does not serve you prepare for the next level when you see this number and it's so funny because like i said it's like i feel like you have been transitioning with this number five being with this energy here you needed to change this energy you needed to God, your spirit guides, they wanted to switch this about you. They, they didn't want you to be uncomfortable with yourself. I feel like, you know, it goes from five to nine because it was time to wrap that up. <laughs> it, it was time to wrap that up, okay? With number eight, we have... You, we have you are in harmony with the universe. Your thoughts and actions are also in harmony when you see this number. For number four, we have protection. The universe and your spiritual guides are protecting you. Pay attention to your thoughts and your environment when you see this number. Yes, so I feel like those opening energies are beautiful. Um, we're just going to go ahead and get into the tarot. Uh, and like I said in the beginning, if you feel like those energies um, or those moods don't uh, match you or what you've been feeling um, and going through, then maybe you should try to choose another pile. And again, if none of the piles seem like they resonate, then maybe this is just not the reading for you. But we're going to go ahead and... <coughs> get started hold on i'm trying to pull up something here on my laptop if y'all would give me one moment please <clears throat> all right so with the tarot Again, we got the past. No, this is the present. I don't know why I keep doing that. We have the present energies being the Page of Cups. We 
have the past energy being the king of wands. We have the future energy being the uh, seven, I think it's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eight of wands. All right, and I'm going to hold on to your purpose card, okay? First, we're going to unpack these cards here, and then we'll get into your purpose. <clears throat> or unpack these energies here, and then we will get into your purpose. So... We have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of wands, and we have the two of wands as well. Okay, so yeah, I feel like when it when it comes to looking towards your future, I feel like um I feel like you were second again. I just feel like you were second guessing yourself. I feel like you were doing actions that needed to be done, but I feel like things probably just weren't coming in fast enough. And that makes sense with this energy here. He looks fearful. He looks frightened that something may not 
work for him something may not come in for him or you know he is not confident about something here um and i feel like that is the energies that you are in you are not confident about your dream about your goal whatever it is that you are trying to um manifest whatever it is that you are trying to achieve you you are not confident about it i feel like something something happened to where your energy went from not confident to I'm just rolling with the punches, you know? And I feel like that is beautiful energy to just be like, to just be so secure no matter what happens. It's like you still, it's like you still want your goal and you still expect your goal to happen, but you're not as in your head about it um, because you're just in the moment, you know? I feel like at this time you're in the moment. You could have uh, put your focus towards something else, something new, like I said. And I feel like because you have done so, um, something else is going to catch your attention that may come in way faster. I feel like this is something new, something something that you didn't expect. And I feel like if it is something that you expected, this is just saying that in you being in this Page of Cups energy and you being in this energy right here, that because you're not so focused on on it, your your goals are coming in faster. But I do feel like this is a new something new that you will enjoy, love, and go after as well. Clarify this page of cups for me spirit clarify this <clears throat> page of cups for me spirit i feel like you know how i said in the intro that i feel like um as times are changing as society is changing and things like that i feel like a lot of people's purpose has been changing i feel like that 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 goes with this group i i do i feel like you felt like you wanted to go down one path or you felt like you needed to live a certain type of life or you were attached to a certain type of outcome but now as you are letting that attachment go you will come to find that your purpose is is way 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 more fulfilling whatever this new purpose is that that will be coming in clarify this page of cups clarify this page of cups and this and how how one's present energy clarify the page of cups for me <clears throat> all right <clears throat> we got the king of cups but it kind of came out in reverse um so i'm just going to take it yeah, back of the deck, we got we got the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this is just clarifying what I literally just said. Um, you're still you're still working, like you're still you know, like I said, this goal here is still your goal. However, you have taken the pressure off of yourself. You have taken the pressure off of yourself. Clarify um, this nine of, or this eight of wands. I'm sorry. Clarify this eight of wands in the near future for my pile ones. Clarify this eight of wands in the near future for my pile ones. Clarify this eight of wands in the near future for my pile ones. The sun. Yes. Yes. So, like I was saying, something is going to come in that is going to, like, make you more happy than you could have ever expected. And when I was meditating and when I said that I got that calming energy from you guys, or I got, like, that second, like, it was like I got a I got... I got energy of second guessing myself and I feel like that represented your past energy but then I got such a calming energy as well and I feel like that represents 
your future energy here. Wanting things to be perfect, that was your past energy. Your future, in, your, your, not your future, I'm sorry, your present energy here is more calming. You have more hope for yourself and in, in the universe. And again, you still, I, I feel like you still care about this thing in the past. You still want this thing in the past, whatever it is. You still may dream about it, but it's less pressure. You took the pressure off of yourself. Whatever you have coming in, you're going to, you're going to be, you see how she's just like, <laughs> she's just loving being on that horse. Whatever it is, it could um, take you out of poverty or it could be something that you experience with somebody else. I have been picking up like on relationship energy with this pile. So with this pile, it could be um, like uh, it could be that you're in a relationship with somebody or like your family or friends or something. There's they have they have been through this transition with you. They have been seeing you transition and I feel like they too will reap the benefits of whatever you have going on in the future, whatever you're going after in the future. I feel like if not that, I feel like this also could be saying that in the future, um, your goal could have something to do with helping people in poverty. Maybe even church related if you're into religion. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and pull your purpose card. <clears throat> so for your purpose, you've got justice, the justice card. And again, I feel like this has to do with helping people. And again, with Minnie Mouse here, how she looks, she just looks so excited. She looks like she likes what she sees. She looks like she's about to go after something. I feel like that is you. You are the person that goes after and seeks, you know, um, seeks to help people. Yeah, you could be like, have, you could have some type of services or something that can provide justice for others. You also could want to be or be like some type of holistic healer or something of the sort. Clarify this justice card for me. Clarify this justice card for me. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and I want to see what bridged the gap between then and now. What what caused you to to switch energies between um, being uncertain and to and and to being uh, more calm and more certain about your plans? <clears throat> what bridged the gap between then and now for my cow ones? What bridged the gap between the energies they were feeling in the past? You got the Ten of Wands, I mean the Ten of Swords in reverse. I feel like you were done, you were done holding on to fears. Queen of Pentacles, you knew your worth. You, you figured out your worth. You figured out your worth, my power ones. Oh, and then we have the King of Pentacles, literally as I just picked up I barely even shuffled and the King of Pentacles just came flying out right after that Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I do feel like with this pal, some of you, your relationship or your marriage, um, it could have very strong significance in you guys' purpose, I feel like. <sighs> Yeah, because even right in the back of that in the back of the deck we have the four of wands. Yeah, I feel like you 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 figured out your purpose and you let some type of hurt go. 
you let some type of fear, some type of beliefs go. It also could be that you started focusing more on your money. If you were more focused on relationships in the past, or if you were more focused on like, you know, why am I not in a relationship? Why do I always get done dirty? Or why is this not happening? Why is that not happening? Why did this person do this to me? You know, I feel like you're over that and you started focusing on yourself. You started focusing on what you can do. That's beautiful, Power One. What bridge, what will bridge the gap between the present and the future for my Power Ones? What will happen to bridge the gap between the present and the near future for my Power One spirit? What will help to bring in the near future energies for my Power Ones? What will help to bridge the gap between the present and the future for my Power One spirit? spirit? the hermit okay so you might before the near future in the near near future <laughs> you might um need time for reflection you might need time um for yourself time by yourself also we have virgo out here we have leo um Uh, I think we have Aries. If not Aries, we definitely have just a lot of action out here. We definitely do have a lot of fire energy out here. But yeah, I feel like you might just need time for reflection. There might be, you know, um, like something coming up where you can just rest, you know, and kind of be to yourselves. Focusing more on yourselves. Okay. We just got three cards that came out. We got the Four of Wands finally came out. The uh, Three, Six, Seven, Eight of Pentacles. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to count every time. <laughs> every time. But we got the Eight of Pentacles came uh, back out finally. And we have the page of pinnacles here. I don't know where to put this. Boom. All right. So these are the energies that is going to help fill in this gap between where you are now and where you will be headed to in the future. Focusing on yourself, working on yourself, having hope. If you're in a relationship of some sort, um being in union with your partner being on the same page as your partner working on y'all's relationship or somehow y'all's relationship um uh, brings in clarity for you focusing on your money as well as um as well as there could be a money a money opportunity that comes in. I feel like if you are this hermit or if you if you are going to be this hermit here, um, you're going to have a money opportunity that comes in once you get out of your hermit mode. Or even while you're in the hermit mode. But the hermit mode is going to allow you to really reflect and see if this opportunity is really meant for you. If you are in a union here, um, or if you have been surrounded by people, surrounded by family, friends, um, things like that, uh, the thing that will bridge the gap for y'all will be after you have your fun, make sure that you're making time for yourself as well. Make sure that you're working. Make sure that you're actively working on, you know, your, your, it, I don't want to say working on your goals because when you work on your goals, you work on your goals with the expectation. Work on your passions. Just do stuff that you like to do. That's beautiful, pal one. Um, so clarify this justice card for their purpose, spirit. 
clarify how one's purpose at this time so Clarify how one's purpose at this time, Spirit. I hope that you all can see um, all of these cards. We got the Four of uh, Swords in Reverse. Yeah, so your purpose has to do with you putting yourself out there. We got the tower. Your purpose could have to do with helping people that go through very much hardships. Some of you people could actually be in the justice system, the criminal justice system. You could be lawyers. You could be um, police. You could be, you know, work in the police, some, somewhere in the police field, you know, that, that field is so large. Um, Cause when I when I saw this, it, it reminded me of the jail, and this could be like you see you see a lot of the chaos that goes on, right? Um, and that's why I feel like you need so you need so much to work on yourself at this time and focus on yourself at this time because your purpose is calling you to come to really focus on others to really help others. Let me just make sure um, my camera is good, guys. Hopefully, y'all don't see my feet. Okay, so you can't see the ones at the bottom, but um, I did, like, show them up here. So, hopefully, it's still good. Anyways. Um, yeah, I feel like this message is pretty much straightforward, Power One. I'm honestly, like, loving I'm honestly loving this. For this to be my first pick a card reading and um, for y'all to be my pal ones, I'm loving this energy and I'm very proud of y'all. Um, so is there any advice for my pal ones here? Any advice for my pal ones here? We're going to do advice and then I'm going to pull fortunes for you all. I'm going to just go ahead and take up all these cards because we might get something in here for the advice and y'all know i don't got any other um decks yet coming soon though coming very very soon um but my deck was getting slim so <laughs> all right so what is the advice here for my pal ones What is some advice here for my pal one spirit? What is some advice here for my pal ones? What is some advice, words of advice for my pal ones? We got the king of pinnacles, the six of pinnacles. You guys could also be earth sign, like I said, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And we have the knight of wands. Back of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. Hopefully, you guys can see that. There we go. <clears throat> so, your advice here is to... Your advice here is to focus on... <clears throat> I feel like your advice right now in, in this present moment is to uh, don't be stingy. Whatever you can share, whatever you can give, whatever you can give back, whatever gifts that God has given you, um, the universe wants you to share that with others, whether it's money, whether it's love, whether it is, like I said, some of you could be healers, some of you, you know what I'm saying? If you are in the criminal justice system, Please don't be one of those people. If you know, you know. Do not be a bad cop. Um, do not be a dirty cop, okay? Really, truly help people. If you are in the medical field, you know, truly help people. Whatever you can offer, even if it's just giving clothes to, you know, someone homeless or something like that or donating to Goodwill or something like that. I feel like that is your per that is that that is your advice for this for this present <clears throat> that is your advice for you in the present here i'm sorry um 
in the future, I feel like this is saying, I feel like this is your advice for the future. And I feel like this is saying, uh, don't be afraid to go after what it is you want to go after. Again, I feel I'm getting Leo energy from this card. Be confident in yourself. Confidence. Have confidence and move quickly. Jump. As soon as you see what you want, jump on it. King of Pentacles. And also just be smart with your money. I feel like maybe in the past, um, that could have caused you certain issues or certain, um, you know, certain uh what's the word i can't think of the word what's the word i can't think of the word <laughs> i can't think of the word what's like the opposite of being confident <laughs> Cer it could have caused you certain um oh my goodness i cannot think of the word anyways yes like certain inconveniences that's not what i was trying to say but i'm gonna just leave it at that um Maybe in the past, you, you didn't have the best relationship with money. Um, don't be afraid to spend your money, but also just always be responsible. Know when, how, who, you know, when it comes to spending. When I say who, I mean as far as if you're sharing money, know when you should share money. Know who you should share your money to, you know, and know why you're doing it. But yeah, you have this Ten of Cups coming in. So your last piece of advice is just to remember that. Just know that this is coming. This is your confirmation. If you needed a confirmation, this is your confirmation. This whole reading is your confirmation. But this right here is saying, don't forget about this and don't give up on that. I'm going to go ahead and pull a fortune for you guys. I'm going to use my little wand to like mix them up. <laughs> <clears throat> all right so the fortune that i got for you guys pal one says even the toughest of days have bright spots just do your best one that's beautiful i'm gonna put it up here so you guys can see even the toughest of days have bright spots just do your best <laughs> all right pal one so thank you for tuning in and watching i really hope that you enjoyed the video make sure you like comment and subscribe and um stay tuned for more all right you guys so if you chose how to this is your reading um i think that i already said how i was going to do the reading in the intro so i'm not going to um repeat myself just in case i did i'm gonna just go ahead into the reading um but first i'm going to start out with some um meditation messages so basically these are just the messages that i get from my meditation of you all if you guys want to meditate with me as well at this time to make the energy stronger please do do so even though you will be watching this video at a later time um the energies are, are fluid okay they i'll still be able to connect with you so please if you want to at this time go ahead and meditate with me as well and um we're just going to get started on my pal twos. <sighs> so I'm seeing a butterfly <clears throat> at this time, pal two. Um, or like more like a dragonfly. I feel like you all could be Leos or have very strong Leo placements um, in your life. I mean, in your charts, or you could just be um, in Leo energy. I feel like you guys are very lively. 
you have great uh what is vitality that's the word I feel warm. I feel like summer. Some of you guys could also be like Gemini um, Cancer. Or have those placements. Possibly even Taurus. Or Pisces. Or Aries. No. Yeah. Aries too. Even though that's not really a summer, um, <clears throat> you know. I feel like there's something you have to like, I feel like you're starting to get into focus of something. <clears throat> also, when I was pulling the cards um, yesterday, I got very playful energy for, for you guys. And again, a, a lot of fire, a lot of fire energy as well in this pile. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pull your um, opening energies with my Mickey Mouse Uno. <laughs> um, so, for the present, we have... For the present, we have you in this eight... In this eight energy. <laughs> I'm just going to say eight energy, Okay. Uh, in the past, we had you in this four energy, and in the future, we have you in the energy of this three here. So, <sighs> yeah, this is a, this is the very playful pile I can see already. Um, but it's interesting though, because y'all have a very grounding stone that I chose for you all. So I feel like that energy could be shifting. Um, but yeah, at this present moment, I'm going to use my wand here at this present moment, you could be, um, you know, enjoying yourself. You could be going out, having a good time. Um, you could be uh trying out new things new activities you could be in a club like if you're if you're um in in school you could be in some sort of club or something or joining some some sort of club or sorority or um something of the sort but i feel like this is something that you've been doing kind of you know I feel like in this past energy here, you had your eye on something. Something caught your attention. Maybe it's whatever it is that you're involved with now. In the future here, though, <laughs> this is this reading is supposed to be about purpose, but let me tell you, my pal ones, it was about purpose, but it had a lot to do with relationships also. And I'm feeling the same way with this pile here. Um... So in the future, you could be meeting someone that helps strengthen your purpose or someone that shares the same purpose as you, or you could be, um, you know, just finding like a group of people that you fit in with more. Uh, uh, you could be, you know, family members. In this life, we choose our own family. Yes, we have family with blood, but we choose our own family. You could be finding your, your newfound family in the future here. I feel like you're finding your match here. I feel like this pal, you're good on your own, but you're going to be better with the team. Or you're going to be better with someone else as well alongside you. So those are the opening energies for my pal too. So if you um, feel like they resonate, then continue watching. If you feel like it doesn't resonate, then maybe try to um, find a different pile. And if none of the piles resonate, then maybe this is just not the reading for you today. <clears throat> so for um, let's go ahead and get into the tarot.
So for the past, I mean for the present, we have you in this Two of Cups energy here. For the past, we have you in this Queen of Wands energy. And for the future, we have you in this Knight of Swords energy. And at the back, I mean, not at the back of the deck, but for your um, purpose here, I'm going to hold on to it until a little bit later on in the reading, okay? Okay, so in the present here, um, it's interesting because we have the two of cups here, but then we have the, the three and Mickey and Minnie here in the future. So for some of you, you could have already met your match or already met this person or or uh these people or whatever that is going to help excel you you could have already met them and if you haven't maybe you are just really considering at this time being involved with uh someone outside of yourself or people outside of yourself in this past energy here i feel like you were focused on yourself i feel like you were taking the actions that you needed to take but not doing not doing too much you know just doing what is expected of you and and doing what you want to do you know like i said with this pile i feel like you're good on i feel like you're good on your own but i feel like you could be better with the help of other people or one person with this Knight of Swords um, in the future here, <clears throat> you could be, uh, with this Knight of Swords, it could be that in the future, there's something that you have to remove out of your life, or there's something that you have learned about yourself that you now want to change, Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify for these energies. <sighs> let's go ahead and clarify. 222 on the clock, literally, as I just looked. Right place, right time. Trust in what you want. Don't think of things you don't when you see this number. Okay? So, um, what was going on? What? Hold on. Let me shuffle. All right, God, I ask that you put me in the energy of my pal twos at this time. Put me in the energy of my pal twos at this time, spirit. What were they feeling in the past, spirit? What were their energies like in the past, spirit? Clarify this. <laughs> Everything just keeps popping out for you guys. Claire, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> Clarify this queen of wands, okay? We got the Four of Pentacles. What was the past energies for my pal uh, twos? All right, we got the Knight of Cups. We got the Tower. Hopefully y'all can see it as I get farther down to the bottom here. And we have the Page of Wands. Back of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. Okay. So, in the past here, I feel like in the past, um, 
I do feel an energy of like you were let down of you were let down by something or so, or someone in the past something let you down something that you thought um something that you thought would be you know good for you or you know be of of of, of greatness for you um it let you down I feel like, however, though, you could have possibly not really given it your all with this four of pentacles here as well. I feel like you could have possibly expected certain things just to happen for you. Which makes sense for, for this pile with the energies of this pile. Yeah, I feel like something could have happened in the past to humble you. I feel like you had to start over with something here. Something something you had to be humbled in the past. And that's okay. We all need a little humbling. <clears throat> something happened that... I don't know. Now I'm focused here on this sand. Uh, I'm focused here on these mountains now. Something happened to make you more grounded. That's what it is. You needed to be more grounded. Your guides, God, spirit, the universe, they said you needed to be more grounded. That's why I have this grounding um stone here with with y'all for y'all's pal here today okay clarify the energies of the present at this time for my pal twos clarify the energies of the present at this time for my pal twos what is going on with this two of cups at this time for my pal twos we have the page of swords okay Clarify this page of swords for me, Spirit. Clarify this page of swords in the present for my pal twos. Clarify the page of swords in the present for my pal twos. Clarify the page of swords in the present for my pal twos. Clarify the page of swords in the present for my pal twos. I feel like this pile could also be a pile that um, oftentimes changes their minds. Um or gets really passionate about things really fast and then loses the passion for them or gets bored of, of them. You got the King of Cups. Hopefully you guys can see. At the back of the deck here, we got the um, Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> for your present energy. I feel like for some of you, um, for some of you that did already meet somebody or meet like a specific group or, you know, whoever you met that supports you, um, I feel like at first you were hesitant about it. I feel like even now you still could be kind of closed off to the situation. But I feel like that you're starting to open up towards it. I feel like you're starting to see that it is helping you align with your purpose. And I feel like the reason it's doing so is because of... I feel like... I, I really feel big Taurus energy... Taurus and Leo energy with this Aries as well Taurus Leo and Aries energy with this power right here um I feel like y'all are people that don't really pay too much attention to y'all's emotions and I feel like whatever came in for you here if if it already came in um it helped you to 
to open up to your emotions. I feel like it could have also um, helped you heal or at this time you could also be healing through um, you could be healing through like like maybe if in the past you were in this five of Pinnacles energy you could be healing that those those that those traumas surrounding that at this time or I feel like too if you feel like you are in poverty or if you've felt like you deserve more I feel like you're coming to terms with where you're at I feel like you're seeing that it's not that bad I feel like also too this person or these people are willing to go through it with you so that's nice that's beautiful I feel like this up here, I feel like this eight card right here, I feel like this is the energy that you show people. But I feel like this is what's really going on down here. You're working through things on a quiet tip though. <clears throat> I just got like an energy of like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Like I'm in the moment and I feel great. But I'm truly in the moment and I truly feel great. So I feel like that's that. I feel like you guys could be in that energy too here in the present. I feel like oftentimes I feel like this is a group that hides their emotions. But I feel like now you are becoming you're you're aligning your emotions with everything else about you and i feel like you truly are starting to feel okay i feel like you act you try to be okay a lot of the times i feel like you're truly truly starting to feel okay at this present moment yeah i feel like illusions are unfolding or i feel like in the past you were you were used to illusions and you were used to putting on illusions for people <sighs> clarify this knight of swords in the near future for my pal choose clarify the knight of swords in the near future for my pal choose what's the knight of swords in the near future for my pal choose what is this energy we have the Page of Cups and the Justice. <clears throat> Page of Cups and Justice. I feel like this is a new way of thinking. Yeah, the devil. I feel like you are cutting out your toxic ways <laughs> i feel like you're cutting out your toxic ways uh pal too i feel like it's truly your your toxic ways is truly going to be cut out pal too um whatever things were holding you back whatever things that you were addicted to whatever traumas that you have ignored but secretly they were haunting you i feel like you are f fastly cutting them out i don't know if fastly is a word i don't care <laughs> i feel like you're in that energy like you're just so like once you once you realize this this group here this is my confident group here even when you're even when you were in this energy
energy here in the past. This is my confident group here. <clears throat> I feel like, yeah, you're cutting out something. So that way is, I feel like, I feel like this is you, uh, group two. I feel like you are this page of swords and I feel like you will be showing up as a completely different person than you have, than you are, than people are used to. And I feel like someone or a group of people came in and really just show, like told you about, I don't know if they told you about yourself. I don't know if, um, you know, like maybe this could even be like a, a past, you know, if you were in a relationship with someone in the past or you were involved with people in the past and in the past they may have told you about yourself or tried to get you to reflect upon yourself and you weren't ready to do it in the past but i feel like now now you're seeing what they were saying and now you're 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 committed to showing up as this honorable person i feel like this group like i said i feel like sometimes this group can come off flaky or not honorable because I feel like this group has a habit of changing their minds or like I said getting real passionate about something and then getting bored with it and I feel like this is what's changing about you if this page of swords is not you whenever you cut everything out of 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 your of your life and out of your head that doesn't need to be there this page of swords is something new that's going to come in for you and it's going to be uh, uh it's going to be a, a um a smooth opportunity an equal opportunity a fair opportunity that's the word i was trying to think of fair All right, so before I get to your purpose, I'm going to see what is going to, um, or what bridged the gap between your energies in the past and your energies now here in the present. What bridged the gap between your energies in the past and your energies now in the present? The sun. So you were doing things that made you happy. Like I said, you were doing things that made you happy. Um, you were you might have been working on a project here with the what's this? Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um, sorry y'all, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. With the ten of wands here, you could have um you could have been focusing on your passions, working, working on yourself. Um, you could have started a new job. You could have, you know, whatever it is, um, whatever it is that you love, that you are passionate, that you truly are passionate about, you have been working on that. And that um, is what helped to bridge this gap between where you were in the past and where you are now in the present. What will help to bridge um, the gap between then? I mean, what will help to bridge the gap between where um, my pal twos are now and where they will be in the near future? What will help to bridge the gap between where my pal twos are now and where they will be in the near future? What will help to bridge that gap between where they are now and where they will be in the near future. I just had like so many, okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got the seven of swords. <clears throat> oh, maybe I should put it here. Back of the deck, you got the king of wands. I feel like this is saying two things. 
one, I feel like it's saying being strategic about what you go after because you don't want to look flaky. Like I said, don't accept everything. Don't say yes or give out false promises. I feel like you're going to start being more open and honest with yourself and with other people. And two, I feel like this also could be saying, don't be strategic. Because I feel like some of you have been too strategic in the past. Where's my wand? <laughs> some of you have been too strategic in the past to where now you're coming off as playing games, you know? Um, I just want to check on my camera real quick to make sure we're still rolling and everything looks good. All right, great. Hopefully y'all can't see my feet. So yeah, that is what I got for what is going to bridge that gap. Now for your purpose card. You got the higher fit in reverse. Now, I'm going to look up the Hierophant in reverse, but honestly, um, I feel like it was meant to come out upright, but I'm still just going to look it up just to make sure, um, because it could resonate to, to some extent. How the freak do you spell this? Okay. <laughs> I roll. Bam. Okay, so the Hierophant in reverse represents personal beliefs, freedom, and challenging the status quo. So I feel like it could be looked at in both ways. I feel like it could be looked at upright and in reverse. I feel like um, for some of you, this is about changing the status quo, changing the status quo of who you are and not I feel like this group is the type of group to try to align with the status quo to to try to align with the status quo you I feel like you don't you don't want to stick out like a sore thumb and I feel like that has caused you to not be completely honest with yourself and others in the past and I feel like your purpose is to completely be yourself and honestly, I feel like this group's purpose is to be a leader. No matter what you do in life, your purpose is just to be a leader. Some of you guys, you could be um, spiritualist or, you know, uh, into religion, possibly like pastors or, um, you know, uh, I can't think today pastors or uh preachers or you know things like that you could even just be somebody who speaks to your community somebody who um i feel like somebody who who i feel like y'all are people who stick to traditions too or y'all try to but i feel like this is helping you to have your own beliefs your, your purpose is to be your own person and to be a leader for other people. Because other people look up to you, this group. Y'all could be like, um, like I said, spiritualists. Y'all could be uh, tarot readers. Y'all could be um, um, like motivational speakers. Um... Like I said, if you're in like a club or a sorority or something like that, you could be um, like the head of your sorority or, you know, whatever. I'm also hearing the message too now that if you are in a club or a sorority um, at this time, I feel like some of you are going to be leaving it or, or are going to be leaving that group soon because it's not really aligned with you. And I feel like if you're not going to be leaving it soon, if you are like a leader in that group or something, you're gonna be changing everything that is usual, that's usual about that group, you're gonna be switching it up. 
and you have the power to do that because this is my confident group this is my group when they when they are set on something y'all are set on something when y'all know y'all want to do something y'all are going to do it um so yeah you could be like you could also be teachers um but i feel like you're changing something that is not the norm to the norm if that makes sense that is you guys' purpose here yeah <clears throat> i think i already showed you the king of wands um at the back of the deck but that is that is you guys' purpose here you guys' purpose is to step up and step out and it could be a person or a family or a group of people that is supporting you through this or that have been trying to tell you about this all along I feel like there could have been people in the past or someone in the past that they were authentically themselves. And like I said, they probably could have told you about yourself and you probably could have judged them in the past. And now you're realizing I need to be more like them, but ultimately just be yourself, you know? That's beautiful. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to pull um a few advice cards what time is it 2 45 i'm gonna pull um some advice cards and then we are going to um pull your fortune and then we should be good to go i feel like you guys' message was a little complicated in the beginning but um once i got it i feel like it was pretty much straightforward <clears throat> I feel like y'all are grounding more into yourselves, though. I feel like that's that's ultimately what it is. Y'all are grounding more into yourselves. <sighs> All right, spirit. Let me go ahead and shuffle one good time. It could also be something that happened that shook up things that kind of forced you to now be in this energy or to move towards this energy. Now that I'm looking at this three here too, if this is not about a relationship or if this is not about finding people, this is about finding yourself. That's what this is about. It's about aligning with yourself, aligning with your other half. Literally aligning with your shadow self, the self that you don't want people to know or to see. That is what this is about. That's what you're moving into. All right, spirit guides, ancestors, um, can I get some advice for my pal choose at this time? We got the queen of wands. Can I get some advice for my pal choose at this time? A little word of advice for my pal choose at this time, spirit. A little word of advice for my pal choose, please, at this time. A little word of advice. All right, we got the empress and we got the hermit back of the deck we have justice so your advice at this time is to really um i feel like this pal too is in the middle of really healing their feminine energy we all have masculine and feminine energy, whether you are a male or female. And I feel like this pile has a lot of masculine energy, but they are coming to terms with their feminine energy. Feminine energy is about rest. Feminine energy is about attraction. It's about things aligning with you, not you chasing things or trying to align with things. It's things naturally aligning with you, things naturally coming towards you. It's about, it, it's about internal knowing. It's about intuition. It's about being yourself, working smarter, not harder. Your advice is to work smarter, not harder <clears throat> with this Queen of Wands. Follow your intuition. Spend more time with yourself. 
this this pile I can tell likes to be with people. Spend more time with yourself. Um, take like a month, or if you can't do a month, even just a week to just really revert into yourself. Be by yourself. Be fair to others. Understand what's for you and what's not for you. Understand what's for you will attract you naturally or you will attract it naturally. You don't have to work so hard for what is already for you. Yes, you have to do work, but you do not have to work so hard for it. Um, for some reason I'm feeling as well, don't be a showboat, you know? I feel like this group likes attention. It's fine to like attention, but don't be a showboat and don't be, um, remain humble. And you will be looked at as honorable in the future, I feel like. This will help you to become more honorable. This will help you to really reach the levels that you are trying to reach. This will help you to become a great leader because now people will trust you. Because they see how honorable you are. And they see how much of yourself you bring to the table. <clears throat> so... That is your advice, pal twos. Now for your fortunes, I'm just going to go ahead and mix them up. And then I'm going to just close my eyes and pick one. For your fortune, here we have... Ugh, picked up one instantly. Smiling is the most basic kind of peace work. So smile more, pal, uh, pal two. Let me get up so I can show you y'all's fortune. Smile more, pal, too. Go ahead and take a screenshot of this if you need to. All right, pal, too. So this was your reading. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure you stay tuned for more Pick a Pal readings as well as my other videos that I post here on my YouTube. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to, um, not subscribe, but um, click the link in my description if you want to book a personal reading in my Fiverr account. Alrighty. Alright, you guys. So if you chose PAL 3, this is going to be the reading for you. I think I already explained everything that I needed to explain in the introduction. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the reading. First and foremost, I'm going to start off with my um, meditation and tell you what energies I feel from the meditation, okay? And then we are going to get started. If you want at this time, feel free to meditate with me, even though you will be watching this video later after I post it, um, the energies are still very much fluid and I will still be able to connect with you even stronger if you meditate with me as you're watching as well. <sighs> So I'm seeing the color white and I'm hearing the word calm, but I don't feel like you all are calm at this time. I feel like this is where you're moving towards or this is where you need to be. I'm also seeing uh, pastel colors like a like pastel pink, pastel purple. I also just saw a butterfly as well as a dragonfly um, in group two I saw a dragonfly when I was meditating with them as well um, and they did have similar energy as what I feel this reading will have as well so if you felt called to group two I'll say watch group two as well because there might be some messages in there for you Okay, I just saw like, you know, like those, um, you know, like, I don't even know what they're even freaking called. You know how like back in the day, how they used to have like those toy, um, like 
crystal balls but like they weren't crystal balls they were like those balls where like you can go like this and like the energy will be like sparking around and it will like move with your hand i don't know what it's called but i just saw like a vision of that <clears throat> you guys could be very um brain active at this time <sighs> or just your senses could be very active um at this time yeah i'm feeling like i'm out of breath um i feel like also too when i was pulling your cards yesterday for your opening energy um your cards were literally flying out like crazy um so i, I was feeling like fast paced movement fast paced energy chaotic energy um i do feel as well that this um that this group could be my spiritual people or my Pisces, um, things like that. I'm really being drawn to the color purple in my painting here right now, as well as you have the amethyst stone. Um, so that makes a lot of sense. As well as, like I just said, when I saw the little energy ball thing, you know, um, even though it wasn't a, a, it wasn't a, it wasn't like a psychic, you know, ball, magic ball, but you know, it had like the same feel. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and get started now with your opening energies. <clears throat> okay, so. For your present energies, we have plus four, Mickey. You got the number seven with many. For your past energies, we have for your past energies, we have, um, or in the recent past, we have the, hold on, we have this six mini, <laughs> I mean Mickey, and then we have this four with Minnie Mouse. <clears throat> and in your near future we have um this reversal mickey okay <laughs> so already off that y'all have for y'all opening energies y'all got the most cards than any of the other um piles as well as y'all are the only two i mean y'all are the only piles that got um, like special cards like the plus four and the reversal and you know things like that um so yeah let's just go ahead and get started i'm gonna be using my little handy dandy wand here um so yeah y'all are <laughs> y'all got a lot going on with this present energy here um i'm really feeling drawn to this i'm gonna look up the number seven actually Give me a moment, please. All right, so for the number seven here, we have inner strength. Release all fear. Be strong at heart. Look forward to the future with excitement when you see this number. I do feel like this is so funny because, you know, these cards are not really meant to be spiritual at all, but they are resonating so hard. Even with this being the number seven and how she is blowing that bubble, it's like, it looks like she, she's, she had to use her inner strength, right? She had to use her inner strength to blow this bubble here. Um, I feel like at this time, you could be trying to push through. I feel like at this time, there could be a lot going on in, in your life. I feel like you could be overwhelmed, but I feel like you are just trying to push through. Look, plus four, I feel like you are trying to do what you have to do and then some. I feel like you are trying to really show up for either yourself or other people or both, right? 
or you know a goal or something i feel like it's something that you are really trying to uh just get through at this time or obtain at this time with the past energies here you could have been um I feel like too, right now, you could be more focused on yourself, whereas in the past energy, I feel like you could have been focused on other people. I feel like, um, <clears throat> I feel like also too in the past you could have put up some sort of front for some of you not not in a bad way though I just feel like people expected certain things from you or expected you to be a certain way and you did not want that image of you to fail you want it to be perceived in the way that people were perceiving you. I feel like this group honestly might not truly be so happy as they, as they try to be. I feel like this group probably gets burnt out a lot. In the future energy here, we have you going back to something or looking back at, at something of your past and thinking if you should revisit it. I feel like if not that, you also could be looking at where you in the future you could be looking at where you were here in the present and you could be like thank god i'm out of that energy <laughs> <clears throat> i feel like you could be slowing down in the future but i feel like the reason why it came out as a reversal is because i feel like now that you slow down you can reflect I feel like you also could be looking at, wow, all this strength that I had in the past. Not saying that you don't have strength in the future. I'm just saying, I feel like now you could be like not giving yourself enough credit. And in the future, you're going to be giving yourself that credit. Okay, power three. That is what I got for your opening energies. If you feel like that resonates with you, then continue watching. If you feel like this is not really you, then maybe you should um, try to choose another pile. And if any other piles don't resonate, then again, maybe this is just not the reading for you. <clears throat> okay, so for the present, we have... For the present energy of you guys, we have the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> For the recent past, we have um, For the recent past, we have the uh three six nine of pentacles and we have the high priestess yeah i feel like this is definitely my more spiritual people my people that are more aligned with the with their guides with god um y'all you know you could be a pisces you could be cancer scorpio I'm mostly just get, picking up on Pisces and Cancer, though. In the near future, we have the Judgment. 
So there is going to be something that God thinks should change or that God has shown you. And for your purpose cards, you actually were the only group to get um, two purpose cards, but I'm going to wait to pull those um, a little bit later on in the reading, okay? So let me take a sip of my coffee and check the time. Um, okay, it's 3.05. All right, you guys, so. <clears throat> In the present here with the Queen of Cups, I feel like you're trying to listen to your intuition. I feel like, I feel like, all right, there's two energies I'm picking up on for, for this pile here, like two separate groups of people. Um, for the first group, I'm feeling like you're trying to listen to your intuition, but it's like you're over analyzing it, which is causing you to overthink, which is causing you to overdo. For my second group of people here, I feel like, um, your intuition is actually guiding you to do all that you have been doing lately <clears throat> because of a lesson that you need to see or something that you need to see here in the future. In the past here, I feel like you could have... Um, I feel like you could have been called to change something about your situation, whether like whether it be like your home life or your work situation, something that's like stability or that like brings in like stability, like home or work or something like that. I feel like you were called to change something about it or you just had like an inclin like a like an inclin an inclination i think is the word um that like maybe you just need to like or i feel like also too it could be that you were allowing you were resting more back then in the recent past i feel like you could have been resting more you could have oops, you could have been sitting on your money more back then. You know, which is completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But yeah, I feel like also too for some of you, I feel like I feel like some of you in this group could have been getting like money from other people like <clears throat> like maybe your family members were paying you or you were getting like a check of some sort maybe you know like um unemployment or social security you know something like that for some people in this group but if not that i feel like where you were at was not um I feel like you were comfortable with it, but you were guided to you're you were guided to move out of it. You got the inclination that something needs to change about it or like that you need more or like you're not getting enough out of it type feel, you know. In the future here, something is going to be shown to you. Everything that's happening to you right now, everything that has happened, um it's supposed to like I said this group is very tapped in I feel like and God is showing you something that is that you need to see this is something that I feel you signed up for at birth this is a part of your journey for this group here And it 
it's time in the future it's going to be time to make the decision or see whatever calling um that you're being called towards and it's going to change your life it's going to change your life okay so let's get some clarifiers <clears throat> What, um, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, Whew. the number three could be significant for you guys, or really any of these other numbers up here too could be significant for you. You got the emperor, really, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait on that. <clears throat> All right, spirit, so. What is going on with my pal threes in this present moment? What is going on with my pal threes? Can you clarify this queen of cups for me? What is the energy of this queen of cups for my pal threes at this time? You got the queen of wands. back of the deck you have the two of cups so this could have something to do with um you listening to your intuition about if you should take action towards certain things or certain people Yeah, right now in the present moment, you are really just trying to figure out what's right and what's wrong for you specifically. Like, what should you do? Um, like, I feel like everything that you're doing, you're trying to make sure, is this aligned with my intuition? And I feel like that's for some of you that I picked up on that is kind of overthinking certain things but i feel like you're trying not to you're trying to come out of this energy and honestly i relate with that so much so much that is totally me all the way <clears throat> but i feel like i feel like you are gradually getting there to where you just naturally know what to take action on and what not to take action on I feel like that's that's the energy that you're in now. That is what your intuition is teaching you. You're learning how to listen to your intuition about what to take action on and what not to take action on. Clarify this um, Nine of Cups and the High Priestess in this recent past energy for my th um, group threes. What um, was going on? Ooh. That was a lot of cards. I'm not going to take all of those. Um, clarify this recent past energy for my pal threes. My group threes. You got the Empress. It kind of did come out in reverse. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speak from what I feel but I'm also going to look up the reversal um, because there could be a message within that as well and because I am reading for a large audience it could be messages regarding both um, but at the back of the deck you got the knight of swords I feel like this is in the past this is about you um, cutting off what is not attracted to you not not yeah it's about cutting off like what is not for you cutting off what is not in your alignment you know um because i feel like in the past some of you could have been in this empress in the reverse and you could have been actively neglecting your feminine energy and um again 
feminine is fit we all have masculine and feminine energy it does not mean that you act like a woman and masculine does not mean you act like a man it just means feminine energy is more about attraction it's more about um working from your intuition it's more about allowing things to flow into you and not so much chasing things not so much going after things working smarter not harder that is what this feminine um it's about self-love it's about taking care of yourself that is what feminine energy is about and i feel like um i feel like the reason why it initially came out in reverse but then kind of switched over is because i feel like that was y'all in the past but now you are more in your empress energy your heart chakra you're listening more to your heart with this green here in this heart. You're listening more to your heart. I feel like things in the past might not have looked the way that you want them to. Even now, they might not be looking the exact way that you want them to. But I feel like you're starting to trust yourself more and trust the process and trusting in God. <clears throat> trusting in the universe. With this Knight of Swords here at the back of the deck, um, you cut that out real quick. <laughs> you said, I can't, I can't live like this anymore doing things that I don't like to do and chasing things and, and, and people that I don't want to chase. I feel like this is about you. Tr like I said, I feel like this is about trust. You trusting yourself. I feel like here in this past energy, you were trying to uphold some sort of image. And I feel like you said, fuck that. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like that's what happened. Now, because you're transitioning, I feel like some of you could be overcompensating for it. But also, too, I feel like some of you really, you're not even over overcompensating. I feel like you just have a lot of energy that you didn't have before because you were so drained in the past with trying to uphold a certain image. I relate with that so much. And I'm honestly starting to get emotional because I, I feel this energy like, in the past, it's like a weight. Oh, that, remember how I said I felt like I was out of breath in the beginning of this reading? It's like a weight has been lifted from this pile here. That's beautiful, pile three. Honestly, this whole, like, this has been a great first pick a pile reading all of the pals have had great energy um you know great readings god you have been coming through ancestors you have been coming through and i'm sorry i just had to i just had to let that be known here maybe some of you guys like i said you could be praying a lot at this time or you could really just be thankful that you are out of the energy that you were in at this time I feel like there still could be like some uncertainties about the future, but you are more accepting of what's of who you are and of what's going on in your life at this time. <sighs> that that's beautiful. Clarify the judgment card in the near future for my child threes. Um, but also to how I just went off on that little tangent, maybe, you know, that can be a sign for you all that y'all should give thanks to, you know, the people that you honor, give thanks to, um, God, you know, even your, so my video cut off, <laughs> unfortunately, um, I guess my phone died or whatever, so I am now, uh leave picking up where i left off i literally finished the whole video not knowing that my phone was off so i'm trying to revert back and pick up where i left off at i do have to kind of make this quick um because patrick is on the way home and i don't want him to interrupt the video um 
and yeah so I'm just going to go ahead and um what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pull the energies um, that bridge the past and the present and then the energies that bridge the present and the past um, because I don't know exactly what cards I already had out um, when I finished out the video I'm just going to authentically do it over again and whatever cards come out are the cards that um, are meant to come out so yeah let's just go ahead and get started and then I'm gonna do your purpose cards um, Oh, let me go ahead and pull your purpose cards out actually because so for your purpose cards you were the only pal that had two purpose cards come out um but because I do not exactly remember the second purpose card that came out and I don't want to be inauthentic I'm just going to use one for um the reading okay plus you know the, it was only one that I was really focused on anyways the first time that I did it as well okay so Universe, spirit, guys, angels, I want to thank you again for this gift. I ask that you please put me back into the energy of my pal threes at this time. Please put me back into the energy of my pal threes at this time. We had a little bit of technical difficulties. They try to throw us off of our game, but it is okay, all right? So what is going on with my pal threes at this time, spirit? Why, um, what energies will bridge the energy of the past? to the energy of the present where my pal three is at this time spirit what energies will bridge the energies of the past to the present at this time spirit what energies will bridge the energies of the past to the energies of the present at this time spirit what energies were used to bridge okay that's too many cards that's way too many cards um all right just one card spirit what energy i'm not gonna lie y'all i'm so upset because this reading was such a good effing reading and i literally finished the whole thing and didn't even know that it wasn't recording um so yeah but whatever is meant to come out will come out and it will be heard and said and understood what energies what energies bridged the energies between what was going on in the past and what is going on in the present for my power twos got that chaotic energy coming back out all these cards keep flying out what bridged the energy from the past to where we are now in the present from our power threes? Okay. Strategic energy. I feel like this is saying being strategic about, um, yeah, back of the deck we have the three of swords. I feel like you being strategic about what you decide you being strategic about what actions you put out not only that but you being strategic uh, about what is what is able to come into you what energies that you're able to handle you being strategic about what thoughts are yours and what beliefs are not yours things like that um yeah and pretty much like just sorting out this three of swords energy here this is about you not allowing everyone and everything into your space and into your energy so that is what has caused um and just being strategic with how you move that has that is what has caused you to be more on this path of um aligning more with your intuition what will bridge the energies between the future and now at this time for my pal threes what will bridge the energies between now and the future for my pal threes what will bridge the energies between now and the future for my pal threes 
we got the king of cups as well as the two of wands so staying emotionally stable staying emotionally stable knowing who to give your um knowing who and when to give to knowing when your cup is 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 knowing when you have to fill your cup before you can fill other people's cups as well as continuing to look towards the future clarify um yeah clarify this judgment card because i don't think i did that yet the knight of cups so this judgment card here is clarified by this knight of cups whatever lesson as it, or whatever is going to be shown to you or brought into you it's going to be something worth having it's going to be something that you've been waiting on it's going to be fulfilling it might come in slow it's taking time all of this is destined this is a part of your destiny and the way that you're going to get to this judgment to this knight of cups energy is by um continuing to work on just yourself continuing to become more emotionally stable continuing to know who to give to and who not to give to and when you are able to give it's focusing on yourself and your future we got the two of cups at the back of the deck It could have something to do with the equal give and take, what it is that you're waiting on in the future. So now, let me go ahead and put out your purpose card. So what card that you got for your purpose is this world card here. And I just thought that that was so beautiful. Um, where's my wand? Okay. I just thought that that was so beautiful because this reading here is not even really about material things. This reading here is about, um, this reading here is honestly about having a, a, simp a simplistic life, a simple life. It's about honoring yourself. Your purpose in this life is to come back to your soul and come back to yourself. I feel like this pile is a pile of aliens in a world that does not work the way that you function. And I feel like you have been trying to function in the way of the world, but that is not you. And I feel like you're learning that you don't have to do that. And your purpose is to teach other people to be themselves and honestly this reading relates a lot to um uh pal two so if you feel called to pal two please go watch it because it's very similar you guys are leaders you guys are leaders you guys could have past lives or could be gods and goddesses that have came down to experience the human experience you could be from different different realms different worlds you have your ancestors and gods here watching you not only are, are these spiritual um beings watching you but this is also humans watching you some humans are going to be jealous some humans are jealous because they can't get to this in this world, in this lifetime. This is about you being authentically you and you functioning the way that you desire, the way that you know to function in this world. In this world of chaos. I feel like it's about you becoming more simplistic to yourself and what you know and what you feel. Let me make sure the camera's still rolling. All right, great. <clears throat> so, clarify this world card for me. Clarify this world card for me, Spirit. Clarify 
Pal 3's purpose. Clarify this world card for me. For Pal 3's purpose. Clarify this world card for me. For Pal 3's purpose. Clarify this world card. For Pal 3's purpose. We have the um five of five of swords. We also have the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Back of the deck, we still have the Two of Cups. So a lot of you um, could be in relationships or have friends or family members that actively are a part of your journey into helping you reach your purpose. The number three could be very, um, the number three could be very, um, uh, could resonate with you all. I'm sorry. It could be an important number. Also, it could be a time frame. Three years, three months, three weeks, three days. I also just heard three generations. You could be the third generation this pile this is about cutting out the facades that you have given yourself with this knight of pentacles you're less focused on money you're less focused on money you're giving yourself, you're having more freedom. You're not um, attached to outcomes or to money anymore. You won't be. That is your purpose. Your purpose is to not be attached to this material world. That is a part of your purpose or that is what your purpose is becoming. I feel like this group has high expectations of themselves. That is great. However, I, I feel like y'all are naturally just great. And so you don't have to have so high expectations. You naturally do right. You naturally are good. This is about being more playful, enjoying life more. I haven't done this with any other pal, but what does my pal threes have to look forward to? I hope that y'all can't see my feet. <laughs> what does my pal threes have to look forward to? What do they have coming up, my pal threes, that they can look forward to in this lifetime? What do my pal threes have to look forward to? Ace of Wands. Passion. Something is going to come in that you are going to um, take. Ace of, with Ace of Wands, this is also saying um, something that you have to look forward to is, is being able to like only give action to things that you are passionate about and still succeeding. I feel like what this group has to look forward to is they can do less and still get more. If that makes sense. Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pull some advice, a few advice cards, and then I'm gonna do your fortune. So I'm going to do a few advice cards and then I'm going to do your fortune. All right. So what is the advice real quick for my pal threes? What are some words of advice real quick for my pal threes? This two of wands, I mean, cups keeps showing itself. Um, so like I said, y'all could have somebody that is significant that helps you out. 
with um with your purpose or helps you with finding your purpose what advice do you have for my pal three spirit what's a few words of advice for my pal threes what is a few words of advice for my pal threes we have the ten of pentacles we have the king of wands we have the ten of swords back of the deck we have the um uh, back of the deck we have the uh nine or what is that two four six eight eight of wands so your advice is to one be around the things that you care about the most be around family enjoy family also share what you can share with others but only when only when you are up to doing so again with this king of wands know what actions are for you know what actions you t you should take and what actions you should not take and know when to take action and when not to take action also understand that this ten of pentacles you're you're going to be fine I feel like stability wise that is something that this um pal may worry about but I feel like stability wise you are going to be fine I feel like this is also saying ask for help if you ever need help I feel like this is also saying you have your family and people willing to help you I feel like this is also saying you will be the one to some of you will be the ones to create and provide for your family like you expect to and like you want to. I feel like this is saying this is going to help you to get through these pains. You are no longer going to sit in this in this pain anymore. With this for uh, um, eight of wands in the back of the deck, um, don't be so because it came out the deck came out and the whole deck came out in reverse at, in the at first when I first put it down. I feel like that that was kind of saying don't um, don't think that you have to rush into anything. Or don't think that you have to rush into any sort of action. But also I feel like this is saying know that what's for you is going to come in for you regardless. And, it, and when it's time, it's going to come in fast. When you learn your lessons, it's going to come in fast. One more advice card for, um, I'm going to pull that. One more advice card for my pal threes. One more advice card for my pal threes. I'm going to cut this. Um, heat off one more advice card for my pal threes at this time one more advice card for my pal threes at this time one more advice card for my pal threes at this time page of wands continue to work towards your passions but don't expect outcomes just just continue you love also we have the star at the back of the deck yes and continue watering yourself and having self love for yourself okay now lastly we're just going to um i'm gonna mix up these little fortunes here and lastly we're just gonna do um i'm gonna just close my eyes and pick out a fortune and then i'm gonna go ahead and end the reading there okay <clears throat> so what is the fortune for group So, your fortune is, before the beginning of great brilliance, there must be chaos. <laughs> that goes with y'all's pal very well. Dang, I hope it can um, show. Hold on, I'm trying to get it to uh, focus here. 
Okay. Before the beginning of great brilliance, there must be chaos. And I feel like y'all already know that, Pal 3, because y'all been, been going through the chaos, but y'all know what is expected of you and what's coming. So thanks for watching. Um, again, um, like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, um, or make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this reading. I enjoyed y'all's energy and y'all's pile. Um, I enjoyed all the piles, but I really enjoyed y'all's pile. So thank you again for watching and um, like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos and also more pick a card readings. Um, I will be doing them more often um, and make sure that y'all... Um, if y'all want a personal reading, go to my Fiverr account. The link will be in my description and you can go ahead and book a personal reading there or even on my Instagram. All right. So bye.